everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a review and swatches of the new ColourPop and Disney collection it is their villains set they had already came out with the princess collection which I did snag that palette um, I love all things Disney so this is definitely right up my alley but there's just something about the Disney villains I just find so freaking cool. I'm definitely fascinated by the villains. I love the princesses but I'm fascinated by the villains. <laughs> so um, I picked up the eyeshadow palette, a couple of their jelly shadows which I've never tried before, and the highlighters, lipstick, and lip gloss sets. So we're going to get through all that. Um, but right now before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will have those linked down below for you as well. So, oh my gosh, you guys, the packaging on these products are, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's absolutely amazing. They could not have done a better job. I think the first thing we are going to start with is the palette. So it is called the Misunderstood Palette, which is the perfect name for it. Um, so this is what it looks like right here. I don't know if you can tell, um, but it's got like all these little black engravements. So you got the crow and the seashell that Ursula uses and the dragons. Um, so it is a very, very well thought out packaging. Um, it does say Disney Villains on top and of course ColourPop on the bottom. On the back you do have all of your shadows names and then it gives you a list of the ingredients and ColourPop is cruelty free so if you guys are looking for a cruelty free brand um, stick with ColourPop they are absolutely amazing so um, this palette does run for $22 now, I am going to do live swatches myself, um, however, I was lucky enough to swatch this palette on not only my daughter's skin tone, but my husband's skin tone as well. So my daughter is more of a medium skin tone, um, and if you follow me on Instagram and if you have ever seen a picture of my husband, he definitely is a more uh, deeper skin tone. So you guys are going to have pretty much like a light, medium, um, and dark skin tone to compare it to. So. Um, I will be doing that for you guys. I'm going to insert those right here right now as I talk about the actual palette itself. Um, real fast, I just want to show you guys like even the inside of this box. I'm probably not going to throw away this box. Like I'm going to hoard this. Inside of the box, they still have all the Disney um, villains inside. Ugh, I don't know if you can tell. Love it. They really went all out. So the palette itself this is what it looks like it is so cute oh i love it i love the way they did this and on the back you do have the names of the shadows as well you open it up it's the same thing as the box itself it does have all of the the pictures on the top um, I, it does not have a mirror, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, it has the names underneath the shadows, <laughs> which I love. I really personally do not like going back and forth, uh, during a tutorial or whatever, and kind of be lining them up and see what I'm using. So you have the names on the back of the box, on the back of the palette and inside the palette. They really went all out with that. So I do like the fact that they took care and put the names underneath the shadows. Really, really appreciate that. So let me tell you guys what I have on my eyes today. Um, I have Tragic, uh, Devious, The Fates, 101, uh, Facile, and Diablo. So those are the shades that I use to create this eye look. This is going to be coming Monday. I have a tutorial on this eye look for you guys. Um, I really, really enjoy how it turned out, if you can tell. <laughs> Um, it's very, very pretty. So let me go ahead and get into the swatches. I'm going to do it by Rose and I'll be back.
So let's go through a couple of these really fast. Um, the mongrels one and which one was it? Uh, the flotsam. They are a little bit chunky, but they are easy to work with. Um, this blue and this black blended out so nicely. It really did. I thought I was going to have a hard time because it does feel a little dry in the pan, but I had no issues blending it whatsoever. It was just like a dream. So this shade Revenge right here. Now it does have a bit of like sparkle or shimmer in it. That is this one right here. Um, now I don't know if that's going to stay once you start using your brush, so it could end up looking matte. I know a lot of companies that try and put that sparkle and shimmer in like a matte color and it never really works for me. Every time I use a brush on it, it all falls out and it ends up being a matte shadow anyway. So that usually is just like pointless, um, but it is a really pretty shade. Now the two colors I have on my eyes. Um, this green shade. Oh my gosh. I really just wanted to do this green by itself. Um, it is beautiful enough to use, but I thought I would go ahead and put a little bit of Diablo on the inner corner and it just really ended up being absolutely stunning. So let's go through the names. I think the names are really cool. So this one is No Spots, Mongrels, Diablo, Devious, Tragic, uh, underworld pain and panic <laughs> you remember pain and panic oh my gosh uh, forest of thorns flotsam the fates revenge Oop. sing sing jetsam facile and 101 uh, so those are the names of the shadows. I think this palette is so worth the purchase. I am in love with it. Do I think it could probably use, you know, one or two more matte colors? Absolutely. Um, but I still think that you can get some different looks out of here. So obviously these are going to be your like crease colors. This one is actually, you can build this one up right here. To be a little bit darker and just create a look with this one this one and any of the shimmers um however obviously if you want to go a little bit smoky you can do that with either the blue or just the black or i did both i think the white is really pretty i think it would be nice for a little subtle highlight on the brow bone the colors in here are just so stunning every shimmer in here is a completely different color you know sometimes you get a palette with a whole bunch of shimmers and maybe one or two are kind of similar and you wish that maybe they would have chosen a different shade that is not the case for this palette they really did a very good job at picking what shades to go in here all of the shimmers are completely different colors this guys this is available on the ColourPop website um, however it is also available at Ulta like I said it runs for $22 I think this palette is excellent if this is something that you were looking at then you definitely want to go ahead and snag it because it is limited edition so um, I think with the princess palette it did go out of stock um and it did come back in maybe once but usually once this kind of collection is gone it's gone and i am so thankful i decided to go ahead and snag it up so this is a huge huge plus for me originally i was only going to buy one set of the highlighter lipstick uh lip gloss combo but i ended up getting two <laughs> Um, so I was going through the website, um, and looking at the combos, the combos I think are a great deal. They really are. These run for $25. They have different sets with all the different colors. I ended up choosing Hades online, but when I was in Ulta, I saw this Maleficent highlighter and I fell in love and I bought it. <laughs> um, and I thought it would just be nice to go ahead and get the set that way. The lipstick isn't really my cup of tea, so I'll be putting that in a future giveaway, but um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So let's start with Hades. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this packaging. Like, isn't that just so cool? Inside this set, like I said, you get a luxe lipstick, a super shock highlighter, and an ultra glossy lip. So once you open it up, this is what the set looks like inside. It is very well packaged. I don't think I'm going to throw any of the packaging away. I should, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and pull out this highlighter. All right. So once again, this is what the packaging looks like. And it does come with a very good size mirror and you get a lot of product 
for your money. They did sell the highlighters by themselves. They run for $10. Um, but I just think it's a better value just to get the set. So, oh my gosh, it is like butter. Like just, oh, it's so soft, you guys. So this is your swatch right here. It's like a, almost, almost like a cream. It really is. Ah. And the reason I chose Hades is because it's more of, I don't even know if you can tell. Oh my gosh. It is more on the peachy side. Um, can you even see it? I don't think you can. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's try another swatch on top of it. A little bit, a little bit. So um, this is more of a peachy highlighter. So that is why I chose this. I really do enjoy a peach vibe in the summertime. Now the lipstick packaging. Oh my gosh, the lipstick packaging, you guys. Look at this. And it is so luxurious feeling. It's got a really nice weight to it. It almost feels like a metal, um, but it just, oh, it snaps shut. Did you hear that? I love it. I love it. So this is the shade Hades. Um, and this is what it looks like. It has the words villains um, on the side of it. And this is the lipstick color. Now I am actually wearing this on my lips right now. It is a little bit more, I don't know, like a peachy orange online. It was a little bit misleading. I thought this was going to be more of a nude color. Um, but it's still really pretty, just not was exactly what I was expecting, but I'm still happy with it. Lastly, in this box, we have the lip gloss, um, and this is the shade Hot Headed. So this is what it looks like right here. It's really, really pretty. It has a really nice weight to it as well. The wand for this, it's kind of got like a little, little bristles on the um, top of it. Mmm, smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells like a... It smells like that elf scrub that I got a while back. Oh, I'm gonna have to go look. I can't remember even think of the name of it. Like a cinnamon, almost. Um, but that is your shade right there. It's really pretty. I haven't put this on yet. So let's go ahead and add this to my lipstick and see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't get all gucky. Okay, it's pretty. I think I would definitely try and wear it by itself. Um, I do actually like the applicator. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the brush, but um, it actually ends up applying really nicely. All right, so that is the Hades collection. Now, Maleficent, oh my gosh, you guys, this highlighter, I am wearing it right now. It is so freaking pretty. Like, oh my gosh. So. You open it up. This is what it looks like in here. And of course, for the highlight, you have her on the front. The name of the highlight is Mistress of All Evil. You have the mirror as well. And then there is your highlighter. Oh, you guys, it's so soft. So there it is on the finger. like butter and there it is on my arm oh you can see that now so those are what your swatches look like I'm sorry and I, I remember I did not do a price breakdown I don't think the lipsticks are eight dollars um, you can get those by themselves the whole entire bundle all six cream lipsticks for forty eight dollars this is the lipstick for Maleficent it is the same exact packaging um, for all of them on the outside the name of the lipstick is called Maleficent. Now I am not gonna swatch this because I said it is not really my color. It's more of like a purpley pink lipstick. And I think I'm just gonna put this in a giveaway. Um, I thought it'd be really nice to include. This lip gloss right here is called My Pet. That's more of like a clear lip gloss with a little bit of shimmer to it. 
so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. So it's this one right here. It's really pretty. I'll be happy to wear that on its own. So I did end up picking three of the jelly, what are these? Jelly Munch Shadows. I have never tried these before. Um, I think they look beautiful on the eye from everything that I have seen online. So I thought I would go ahead and try them out. I picked three of the different colors that they had. Now I kind of wish I would have got that green, but you know, it's all right. Uh, so I open it up and this is what it looks like. It's kind of, oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know. I did swatch these on my daughter. Um, I'll have that right here for you guys. Consistency of these just feels so weird. I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> so there's that right there. Probably too much. Let me scoop some of it off. Oh, so pretty. I don't know how that's going to perform on the eye. It's, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it has gold sparkle mixed inside of it. Oh, you guys, the next look I create, I'm going to have to put one of these on my eyes, or at least this one. So that one was I Own You. This one, the purple, is called Spindle. So that is what that one looks like. Ugh. Oh. This one's got gold sparkle in it too. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. They feel really wet though. <laughs> and the last one I picked up was Just Your Voice. Um, and this is their blue shade. So that is what it looks like on the finger. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's kind of holographic. It has a purple shift to it. Can you see? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> this is my very first time, like, just sitting here and looking at these colors. I mean, I swatched it on my daughter, but I was like, swatch it, take a picture, and then it was like time for dinner. So I didn't really pay attention. it's so pretty oh my gosh so pretty okay so the last thing I picked up um, is their do I look like I care now this is like their glitter gel um, at first I thought oh my gosh that is so gorgeous I cannot wait to get this on my eyes and then I read the little tiny warning on the box and it says for body use only it is not for the eyes. Do not buy this and put this on your eyes. Um, which kind of sucks because that's what I was anticipating. But I still think that it's going to be really pretty. And I'll just have to incorporate it in one of my festival looks that I got coming up. So, <laughs> the consistency of this is kind of like the Jelly Munch Shadow. It's really thick and pasty. Um, whoa. That's interesting. Okay, so there's what it looks like on the finger. And, oh yeah, that's really pretty. Look, bring it in a little bit closer. I wish I would've got both colors, dang it. So you ever see those like Coachella looks and they have like the spots of glitter on their face? That's what this looks like. Um, it's spreading out actually really nicely and it's not like bulking up in any kind of places which I had the Tarte glitter um, that I used for my mermaid look but the problem with that one is it like clumped up and it did not look good and it looked flaky once it dried and it was really hard to work with. This it spreads really really nicely. It, it is almost like really smooth. You don't feel the raised bumps on it at all. And it's just pretty. It's just so pretty. 
Unfortunately, this one is only on their website. I wish it would have came to Ulta as well. Um, just because of the fact that I would have gotten the other color. They sold out pretty quickly. Um, they were the first things to sell out in the collection. I think everything else is completely in stock. Now at Ulta, you have the eyeshadow palette and then you have the um, collection sets that come with the highlighter, the lipstick, and the lip gloss. Uh, they don't have the ind individuals at the store. You'll have to get those online. So if you want any of the individual lipsticks, individual lip glosses, or the individual highlighters, you will have to order those from online at ColourPop. I think this collection is absolutely stunning. Every single part of this collection is well thought out, well put together from the boxes to the actual product itself. I would say, please, if you are interested in any part of this collection, do not hold back. This collection is amazing. I kind of wish I could do the whole entire set. I think the whole entire set was $200, but I had to step back and realize uh, not all the highlighters are going to work for me. Not all the lipsticks are the colors that I would wear. So I really had to control myself when it came to buying the products. But you guys, I'm in love. Like, I'm so in love. So that is it for this review. I hope you did find it helpful. Don't forget, coming up Monday, I have this makeup tutorial for you guys using the Misunderstood palette. And if you did like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.